Good evening everybody, this is North Carolina Prepper. And this is the thing that made me almost go blind. It's a UV light water filter. Or purifier. Um, clarifier, purifier, whatever. It, it makes things, it, it's a UV light. Like, like a super scary pen. And you look at it, it's got the big light bulb down in here. And I'll splice in a picture of it on. Okay, and basically, it sucks water in from the sides here, and fixes it up and illuminates it. And it comes back up to the pump here, in the front, and the power, the, uh, comes up there, and blows out the power head up here at the top. So, the whole deal of this is I need a water purifier that can work for my, uh, my fountain out there, my, uh, my water bottle filter, fountain, fountain filter. And this here gives out, I believe I got the big one, it was, um, 23 watts, I think. Yeah, it's 23 watts of power. This costs about 30 bucks off eBay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this so I can disassemble it real easily. Is I'm going to, I'm going to put it in this pipe, this tube here. This PVC pipe, it's a four foot pipe, four inch by four foot. And the problem is, when I put it in there, I couldn't get the hose back up here with kink when I when I put the hose in there. If I can get back on, there we go. It kinks when it goes inside. As you can see, there's not enough room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in there. I'm going to drill it out. At the right depth, a little bit deeper than it needs to be, maybe here. And I'm going to use grommets, and it probably won't need RTC silicone, but if, if I do, I will put it on. And I'll have it come out through here, and I'll have another inlet over here. And I'll fill up, and I'm using these plugs on the end that'll seal the tube up and allow me to access it and change the bulb if I ever want it. And later on down the line, I'm going to cut a little port out. And put a um, piece of clear plastic over there so I can see the light when it's on and check the light. But it's good for a long, long time. But I'm going to run this probably like 20 minutes a day through the water filter out there. And it'll circulate through the bottom tank. Or oh, that's the plan anyway. <clears throat> and um, I'm building it in a modular design like this because if there's like a tornado or something out here and we have to fill up our bathtub with water, I can just drop this whole unit in the bathtub and let it run. Um, also, this will, have, this will be cut in two and I have two tubes, so I can take one tube and just put it in the water source. It'll suck the water through there through suction in the unit, and then purify it with the UV light and put it back in and inactivate anything. So it's kind of like a great big scary pen, only a lot stronger. And it does uh, 270 gallons an hour, I think. Yes. Yes. Um, output 800 liters an hour. I guess 800 liters an hour. But I got the 13 watt bulb, not the 23. It's 13 watts. I'm sorry. It's a 13 watts of UVC germicidal light. So I'm just gonna drill that out. I'm gonna drill it off camera so you don't. I don't waste your time. But I'm gonna use a. Uh, step bit and just drill it down and make it fit and then the only one that's got to line up has got to be this one here the other one can be anywhere I'll make it around the same level for the input intake but I'm going to go ahead and do that um, like I said it'll be a sealed unit but it won't pressurize so let me see what we got here because I've used these for the hydroponics on the buckets for the fill tube so I know they'll work so let me take care of that and I'll drill it out and I'll be right back the only thing I don't know what I'm going to do yet is the cord. I don't want to cut the cord and run it through there. So I may just cut a slice down in the top and then silicon above it, back over it. Or plastic weld above it and then silicon it. But we'll see. I don't have to do that yet. I mean, actually, I can leave the top open. As long as it's below the water level, it won't overflow. But that's not the issue right now. Let's, let's just get this thing built first. We'll see what we're going to do. I'll be right back.
Okay, so this whole thing works on vacuum. The grommets didn't work right, it's just too thick. So I went ahead and just used some barred nipples. And I'll RTC them in later. Let's secure overnight. Oops, almost dumped it all. Um, now this thing works on vacuum. Okay, so this hose here will work on vacuum. The top is sealed. As the water is taken out, it will replace it from the reservoir up above. And But I can't do it right now because i got to cut it out here and it's too late at night to use power tools. So that will be in the part two when I get it finished. But this is the concept of it right now. Um, let me plug it in for you. So, this is purified water right here. It's gone through the UV light. And uh, I'd give it a couple minutes to let it fully get engaged, but that'll be sterile there. And that'll go into my water filter outside. Now, I'll pre filter all the chlorine, all that. That's what the charcoals are for. But this will take out living biological contaminants. And I, like I said, this is going to go for a long time. And it's only going to purify three gallons of water at a time. And I'll let it run for an hour or 15 minutes. I'll put on the a timer so that every day just go. But it'll leave me purifying less than that because the reservoir on top is, is three gallons. So it's probably less than a gallon in the container at one time. So there you go. That's the uh, UV water purifier. Part one, part two will probably up in a day or two, whenever the queue goes. But there we go, and then I'll, I'll I'll finish it up and I'll have it installed. Like I said, this way you could just throw. Once I get this thing sealed up, you could just throw these tubes coming up the sides here into your bathtub, into your five gallon water jugs or whatever, or your fifty five gallon drum, or whatever you have, and it'll uh, it'll purify all that in there. That's not a light, that's just an air intake valve on top of the pump. I've just got it submerged. I don't need aeration inside here. But this will work on basically vacuum instead of pressure. As the water goes out, it'll suck more in from the top or from the other tube in the reservoir. So, there goes part one. That's the UV purified, purified water for consumption. Alright, I'm going to go also make sure I get some... Uh, so food grade silicone. I don't want to use this stuff, to, you know, for the truck. So I want to get food grade. All the other plastics have been certified uh, for water usage for human consumption, including the in caps. So there you go. All these are fine. All right. So can I prepper, uh, please rate and subscribe, and look forward to part two when it's all complete. Part one.